Remember once we studied the properties of dot product, this time is to study the properties of cross product or vector product. So the first property is non-commutativity. That means definitely your a cross b is not equal to b cross a. This is non-commutativity in case of vector product. Why? Because if I have to speak about a cross b, that will be a b sin theta n1 cap, a unit vector. And in the second case of b cross a, things will change to another unit vector, n2 cap. So, in the first case, your vector a, b and n1 unit vector will form a right-handed system. But here, b, a and n2 will form a right-handed system. So, the order changes and hence the commutativity is not followed. So, it is non-commutative. The second is uh, stating the properties when scalars are introduced. So, m is a scalar. So, m a cross b can also be solved like first you do, uh, draw the system with a cross b, you solve it and then multiply the scalar or you can take m with b first and then cross product accordingly. So, it is like that. But when two scalars are introduced, one is m, another is n, then what happens? Individually mn can be separated, then firstly m can be separated, n can be treated with b and so on. So, this is just simplifying your calculation, whatever suits you best, you can use it. So, introduction of scalars in the case of vector product is this property all about. The third property as you can see, a cross b plus c, b plus c cross a, this is what you have done. So, this is regarding distributivity. So, distributivity is followed, hence a cross b will be treated first. Then this is a plus symbol, then A cross C. And this is known as your left distributivity, hence I have written left distributi mean, uh, di uh, distributivity means LD. I am sorry for that fumble. Now here, B cross A, introducing plus sign in between, then is C cross A. So this is your right distributivity, writing RD for sure. So, this says distributivity is followed in case of vector product or cross product. Let us move to the next property wherein we do not have plus but minus. This will also be satisfied. So, it becomes A cross B minus of A cross C. Last but not the least is this property stating when a cross product is given to you as 0, what does it imply? If a cross product or a vector product is 0, it directly states that the two vectors must be parallel for the two vectors actually being non-zero. This can be stated in more detail. See, A cross B is given to you as zero. That means A cross B is equal to zero and it is nothing but A, B, sin theta is given to you as zero. This is zero vector. Now, a, B is there and since I have removed vector sign, I can even ignore this uh, unit vector because it states direction, I am ignoring this. Now, these both are given to you as what? As non-zero. So, these both cannot be zero. So, sin theta is zero. That means theta is equal to zero degree or 180 degree. That means pi. So, these are parallel because of the fact that the angle is either 0 degree or it is pi. So, pi means anti-parallel. But yes, these properties are of wide importance. Especially, you have to take care that scalar product is commutative, but vector product is not. Rest other properties remain one or less the same. But yes, the placement of sign here and cos there makes a huge difference.